Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here and welcome back to the railway once again. Uh, today as you can see the railway is all decked out again with the autumn leaves. Uh, because this video is a follow up to the autumn passenger service uh, video that I put up last week. Uh, this time, uh, quite predictably, this video is going to be based on freight. Uh, now not necessarily are the locomotives going to be freight ones, uh, but they're certainly going to be suitable in my eyes for freight. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy it, sit back and relax. And yeah, let's see how it goes, get a couple of locos running, and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Alright, let's see what we got coming up first. Alright, so the first example is sat at the station, which is basically ready to go. This is a Hornby 2P. Uh, obviously 2P implies that it's a passenger locomotive, which of course it is in real life. Um, but I just thought it's quite a smart loco, I've not run it for a while, and it doesn't look bad uh, running some freight. Uh, and as you can see behind her there, she's got quite a sizable rake of wagons, uh, about the right sort of amount for real life, you know. Um, she wasn't a particularly powerful locomotive, of course, being just a 440, uh, but should certainly be able to do this in real life. And the model more than manages it, uh, because of the traction tyres. Alright, so let's watch her set off then, and as soon as she's up to speed, I'll give you a little bit of information about the class in real life. Alright, let's go. Okay, so the LMS 2P was introduced in 1928, uh, just for light passenger work. Uh, there are 138 of them produced uh, between 1928 and 1932, uh, so that's quite uh, a long production run of about, of about six years. Sadly, uh, all of them were scrapped and none of them remain, um, which is a great shame, uh, but luckily we've got them in model form so that we can still remember them at the very least. Uh, so let's watch her go around a little while. And then we'll start off with the next logo. Alright, I'm just going to stop her there then, and the next loco is actually a little way around the layout, so I'm going to head up there now for you, and uh, let's introduce her. And pulling quite a rake of mixed freight, which looks quite nice I think, is the Triang L1, and this is another 440 of course, which I thought would be nice. Again, it's more of a passenger loco this one, uh, but I, again I think it does look quite nice pulling uh, freight. The reason I haven't opted for the classic freight locos for this video is because, you know, the 8F, the 9F, all the big freight locos that I've got um, have been used very recently, so I don't want to overdo them really. And also, you know, because this is supposed to be like an autumn seasonal video, I thought I'd get some more of the more sort of delicate, smaller locos out, and uh, that's what I've done here. So, yep, that's the L1, uh, another 440. Again, quite a big load actually, but she does it more than easily. Uh, so I'll set the camera up, give her a little bit of power, we'll get her going, and once again I'll give you a little bit of information about the loco and the class. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so the L1 440s were originally designed for the Southern Railway, um, but of course my version is BR, uh, and of course you might know that I've actually got one of the Southern Locos, um, you know, the same Loco but in a Southern livery, uh, that's what I mean, uh, but I've got plans for that in a couple of videos time, uh, so I'm going to save that. Anyway, they were designed by Richard Mantle, and there were 15 of them produced in 1926, and sadly, once again, they were all withdrawn uh, between 1959 and 1962, and then they were all scrapped, uh, which is an, again another sad story, uh, because we've not got any of them left. Uh, but having said that, hopefully you can enjoy my model of her, and all the other various models of her that there are um, out there in the world. So, uh, so yeah, let's keep her going for a little while longer, and then I'll restart the 2P and get them to go together.
Okay, let's restart the 2P as well then. Get her going at another gentle freight speed. There's the lovely old one. So yeah, nice couple of 4 4 0s running together for you. Yeah, I think they're a nice pair, aren't they? They certainly look quite nice together, if a little bit different. Alright, time to put the L1 back into the siding then, so that we can move on. Yep, she did that quite nice. Right, and let's go and do the same with the 2P. Right, we'll send her through here then, into one of these sidings. Where hopefully she won't derail. <laughs> right, let's wait for her. Yep, pleased with that. Okay, stop her there, that's nice. Alright, let's go and introduce you to the next couple of Locos. Okay, so next is the lovely ME B12. Um, there's all sorts of different types of B12 locomotives, and I'll tell you all about that in a second. Uh, but let's get her out to start with, so I can show you her uh, in a little better detail. And uh, also show you what she'll be pulling. Uh, so let's get that point there. And uh, let's give her a little juice and get her to come round to the front. Alright, let's do that. And there she is. Whoa, <laughs> that wasn't such a smooth stop. Alright, so I've not shown this one for a while. This is uh, the black one, as you can probably tell, number 7476. Uh, this is the northeastern one, as you can see by the tender. I've got loads of these, and they do come in all different sorts of liveries and companies. Uh, there's certainly l &E r ones BR1s, all sorts. Uh, but I did think this one was quite a nice one to run today. Again, she's running uh, quite a bit of freight. Uh, this is all sort of confectionery, uh, food and drink related freight. So we've got all the McVitties, the crisps, the snacks, nuts, chocolate and milk. <laughs> so all the good stuff. Uh, so yep, yeah, let's get her going then. And as I've always done so far, uh, I'll give you a bit more information about the class and uh, how they got to where they are. So uh, yep, yeah, let's do that. So what we now know as the B12, um, at the time the LNER B12, uh, was originally built for the GER and was known as the class S69, or S69 class. And these were originally built by SD Holden, um, but lots of them were rebuilt and altered uh, into lots of different subclasses, the B12, um, I suppose, being the most common of them. Uh, originally though, there were 81 of the locomotives produced between 1911 and 1928, so a good long time and all of them were scrapped except one, which is a shame, uh, but of course we've got one left, so that's really good news. Okay, 
enjoy her for a second and then we'll get the next loco out for you. Alright, I think that's about enough for the time being then, so uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing the B12. Alright, now to introduce the final loco of the day then, uh, and this is a, again another really good one, I really like this one. Uh, so yeah, let's go show it to you. Okay, and here it is, it's the lovely Triang Battle of Britain, uh, and this one's the uh, Winston Churchill version. And uh, again, really, probably wouldn't necessarily have been a freight locomotive, I think they did a bit of both probably, didn't they? Uh, but I have got sort of like a farm themed um, rolling stock on the back of there. So you've got some Southern Railway, uh, what look to me like livestock wagons, uh, straight behind the loco. You've also got some pork cars, so perhaps it was a pig farm, I don't know. A couple of random wagons and a box car and some low loaders as well. And as well as a brake van, of course, on the back. Um, so, yeah, let's get her off. Uh, let's give her a little bit of a, a run round and see how we get on. I'll just get the point then. If I can reach. Oh, that was a <laughs> nasty stretch. All right, let's get her going then. And I'll give you some information, of course. I won't keep saying that, and I think you probably get it. All right, here we go. Okay, so the class of Loco was built for the Southern Railway, of course, and it's called the West Country or the Battle of Britain class. And their nicknames, or not nicknames, are sort of referred to as Light Pacifics, and of course they were designed by Oliver Bullard which you can normally tell by the wheels, I suppose, you know, this sort of famous bully wheels. Uh, there were 110 of them produced between 1945 and 1951, so again, six years. 40 of them were scrapped, uh, 10 of them were preserved, and 60 of them were rebuilt so that they didn't have that chain-driven valve gear, which the Battle of Britain did. And I suppose that was known as the Merchant Navy, uh, which we've all seen about and heard about. Um, so, yeah, I'll let her run a little bit longer on her own, and then we'll get the B12 to run along with her too. And then that'll be it. All right, let's start the B12 as well then. Oh dear. Oh, she's right on a point. There you go. That's better. There she goes. Yep, quite a nice gentle freight speed anyway, I think. Seem to like it, don't they? Not struggling too much. Or at all, really. I did speed the uh, Battle of Britain up a little bit there.
Alright, let's do a couple of station stops then. We'll stop them both up in the country area and then we'll uh, say our goodbyes. Well, that's it then everybody, hope you enjoyed that. A little bit more autumn running for you. <laughs> now I've got to clear the lines, not just of the locos, but of all the leaves. Don't forget then, you can still vote for what you'd like to see on the railway um, for the winter version. I'm going to be doing a winter version of this video as well. Uh, so same again, if you want to see some freight locos or otherwise uh, pulling freight in the winter freight video, uh, then uh, send a comment or a message or whatever you want to do really. Um, let me know which one it is and I'll uh, show it at some point or maybe even in the video itself um, so we'll see what happens there uh, you can also let me know via Facebook or Twitter uh, which is facebook.com forward slash Sam's Trains or twitter.com forward slash Sam's Trains it'd be great to see you on there uh, but for now everybody thank you very much for watching once again and I'll see you all very soon cheers everybody